Merlin, designed by Stefan Feld and Michael Renick and published by Queen Games, plays with two to four players. King Arthur is looking for a worthy successor to his throne. Players in this 90-minute game are Knights of the Round Table vying for the attention of not only King Arthur but Merlin as well. Players may perform four actions during a game round. There are six rounds. Players can move their own knight or Merlin on the action rondelle. The space where they end their movement specifies the action that they may perform. There are three scoring periods during the course of the game in which players are awarded victory points for fending off traitors, having the majority of constructed manors, having influence in other principalities, henchmen on the board, and any completed mission cards. End game scoring includes Apple's and Merlin's staffs. At the start of the game, each player's setup should look like this. The one die is the Merlin die. All players place their knight on a starting location on the rondelle and take the coinciding flag, shield, and construction material. Then take three traders each. Players also draw four mission cards. One mission card can be cashed in for victory points every round as long as they meet the requirements on the card. The first thing a player does on their turn is choose a die, either one of their own die, which will move the knight clockwise on the rondelle, or a Merlin die, which will move the Merlin pawn clockwise or counterclockwise on the rondelle. Move the number of pips on the chosen die to the action they would like to perform this turn. Here are a few of the actions. Place one of your four henchmen from your player board or move one of your henchmen from a principality to the principality your knight is on. Henchmen themselves have their own unique action. There is the builder, the shield bearer, the flag bearer, and the lady in waiting. Once moved, perform their action. If you land on this space, you can use the construction material acquired from other actions and previous turns to build a manor house on this board. The county board is constructed randomly from hexagons every game. A player gains points for having the majority of manor houses built on matching and attached land tiles. Claim Excalibur and use it to get rid of a traitor. Claim the Grail and use it to gain an apple. If a player turns in an apple, they can exchange the number of pips on their chosen die. If a player moves Merlin, they can choose to turn in a Merlin staff to perform that action twice on their turn. There are many possible actions. Part of the strategy of the game is to choose the right path to victory. It is not wise to try and do everything. And remember, everyone can move Merlin on their turn, so maybe your best move is to move him out of range of an action you know the next player is counting on. Merlin also comes with Expansion Module 1, which adds a choice of cashing in a mission card for a permanent special ability instead of the victory points. Try to become King Arthur's successor in Merlin by Queen Games.